Hi guys, Lori Fikes Likes back with you and we are going to do a room makeover. Actually a closet makeover. So I'm going to go ahead and do some footage. I don't know how long this is going to take me, but I wanted to go ahead and start recording it for you. On my bed, you can see, um, I work for HSN as you all know, and I am the HSN queen. This is Joy Mangano's um, hangers and some of her organizer things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make over this mess. I'm going to bring you in here, let you see. That is the top part of my closet. How many people show their closets? It's a very small closet and I'm going to make it over. I'm reading a book right now and I'll link it below. It's talking about tidying up. It's all the new rage. And then you can see how my door looks. That's all my Michi purses, belts, blah, blah, blah. You see it all in there. So out of all of this, I'm going to try to organize my closet and make it a place where I like to be. So you have been updated on everything that I'm going to do. I am going to do a total, you know, makeover of my room. You can see my Paris bedding up there. And then over here, we've got my dresser that needs to be tidied up. I don't like that over there. I'll just give you a 360. This is going around my room. And there's my television. And there you go. That was a 360. How about that? That's pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to start working on, I'm doing some work tonight. I picked up a couple of hours, but I went ahead and unpackaged everything and got it to where I'm going to be able to get it going. Um, in this book, she talks about how we wear probably 20% of the clothes that we have in our closet. 20%. Pretty sad, huh? I know I'm guilty. I have things hanging in here that I haven't worn in quite a while. So I'm going to be purging, selling some clothes. You know, there's those places where you can send stuff if you've got nice stuff. So I might be doing that too. You will get any beginning picture updates, maybe some video updates, and hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll have this video up to encourage you to get rid of whatever is not 20% of what you use. I was so into my Michi, but then I got my Michael Kors purse and now I'm just addicted to it. So Michi's kind of, but these are things that I could sell, you know, sell, sell, make some money. So yeah, that's kind of where we are. I have 102 of these hangers, and the way I'm going to do it is like tank tops, 10. Pants, 10. My magic number right now is going to be 10. 10 of whatever the item is. That's all I'm going to limit myself. The rest has to go. So I have 102 hangers here. I have these cute little boxes that I'm going to be doing some stuff with. This is, and I'll just pull it up so you can kind of see, this is where all my flip-flops are going to go in, and that will hang in my closet. And look, it's even got little shelves. And then this is the shelf, one that you hang up, that I'm going to put sheets in. And then, of course, these didn't match. I thought these matched, but, you know, it's a little bold pop for my scarves. I've got two of these. And, um, yeah, and then some ideas along the way. So stay tuned and come back and watch my claws and makeover. Bye.
guys, welcome back to Lori Fikes Likes. Today is the day to do the closet. And it's not fun. Tonight's my night off. It's actually Wednesday night. And it's my night off. I slept all day. So I was like, you know, I'm going to take on this tedious chore. So I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to let you see what a mess I have created. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. So here you will see a shoe rack that came out of my closet. You will see a box of giveaway things down here, as you can see. Here's some things that I'm not quite decided on. I mean, it looks like a bomb went off. These are all the hangers that I'm getting rid of. Here's more stuff that I pulled out of the closet. Here we are on the bed, of course. There's things that I've got two piles here that I'm sorting. You can see they have on their huggable hangers. And there's the little boxes. This is going to move. I haven't moved it yet. And as you can see, this side I've already got going. Um, this side. I'm so tickled with this one. I'll just kind of angle you down. It's the shelf rack and it has all my sheets in it. They were always up there. That side is next. All that stuff is coming down. I'm putting the flip flop thing in there once I go through all of these clothes. Then all of these shoes get sorted. This thing you see here that has all my purses in it, I'm going to hang it right there, right there on that wall, and just try to maximize this space. But it does. It looks like a bomb went off in my room, and I'm not happy. But I'm going to work through the night. I'm going to work through the night, and I'm going to tackle this job. And I will come back later and let you know. Bye. Let's walk in to my masterpiece. Let me go ahead and start at the top. I took, I'll bring you a little closer. I took this piece of fabric that I've had. My bedroom is a Paris theme and I just used a staple uh, gun and I used that. And you can see the boxes, they're up there on the shelf. I kept only these shoes that I put in the little shoe carousel. There's shoes on the back of it. I use the scarf racks. We'll come in a little closer. I use the scarf racks for all of my scarves, as you can see. And then on this one, I put all of my belts. So hopefully you can see. I love this because I used it for my sheets. No one should have this many sheets, and I do need to get rid of some. But I love them. My little slippers down here. There is my boots. And all my shoes. I love this thing. And I'm going to tell you, if you buy the shoe, the uh, Joy Mangano shoe carousel, it only comes with this little hook. They should have designed it to where it had two hooks, but they didn't. So I took a belt that I was getting ready to get rid of. I cut a little cut in here. And I just put this belt on as tight as I could. I know it looks a little horrible, but hey, I don't want it to fall. And I did read the reviews where people said after two weeks, it started coming apart here and fell. So I don't want mine to fall. I'm so happy with it. Um, in this box, I'll just kind of let you peek. I've got like purses and things that go in it. And I love that. It's nice and neat. And this one, I put some extra little purse and stuff in there. Back there is a Vera Bradley little bag that I've had forever. I just couldn't get rid of it. Here is where I stacked. This is my bunny suit. That's what I call it. It's a onesie uh, robe that I've had forever. I can't get rid of. And then another robe. I put my hoodies over here, turtlenecks. And all my Christmas shirts that I like to wear at Christmas. I did keep that shelf in here. And then if you look, you will see all of my hard work and putting everything together. Back here, of course, I have dresses, summer dresses, the two suits I own, um, little vest things, my jackets, 
all of my little sweatsuit hoodie types of things, all of my button-up shirts, all of my just shirts that are not button-ups, all in color order, my short sleeve shirts, all of my jackets, and then all of my tanks. I love to layer because I do, I'm in that point in my life where I do get hot. And then all of these down here are my jeans that I'm keeping. I'm not keeping all of them. I did put some skirts and stuff down here on the bottom. So yeah, it turned out really, really cute. And then over here, remember this was hanging on my door. This is all my Michi purses that I still want to use. And then I've had this thing forever. I put all of my Victoria's Secret bras are all in here in color order. More bras. I have one that needs to go in there. Um, and then I put like down here. I don't know if you can see. I put like my leggings. This is my little uh, tank. It holds me in. And then leggings all down there. So that is going to be very useful. I put my outfit together and bam, everything was right where I needed it. And then I incorporated this again back into here to hang my necklaces. So basically, I gained a lot of room by purging my closet and making it someplace I would want to come in and pick out my stuff. And everything is off of the floor except, you know, my little suckers down there so my door is completely nothing's on it and I'm just I'm just I'm just proud of my joy mangano makeover closet so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to come back and see what I'm doing and yeah just let me know if you decide to go and purchase uh, some joy mangano stuff it is true. You do get more room. Um, I didn't believe it, but you do get more space. And your clothes don't fall off. I mean, they just do not fall off. Um, example, this is my DG2 shirts. It's got the, the cold shoulder on it. And I just scooted them up there. That sucker's not coming off. So I was pretty impressed about that. So I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely 100% thrilled of how it all came out and turned out. Um, if you do one, please link me. I want to see it. Go to HSN. You can find all of Joy Mangano's stuff there. I spent, with my discount, um, $102 to get everything that you see in here. And I still, if you look right there, I still have some hangers left over that I've just kind of put back there. Um, I had 100 and 24 hangers is what I bought. The shoe carousel, the shelf, this, this, these for $102. And I thought I would need more, but I didn't. I'm going to link a little thing where you can go in and measure your rod. And it will tell you how many uh, hangers you need, which is really cool. I'll link that. And... Yeah, if you want to do it, do it. It makes you just feel so much better to walk in your closet and go, I'm going to grab a tank, this jacket, these jeans, or, you know, whatever. Whatever you're in the mood to wear for the day. And then you can accessorize over here. That's why I love my Michi purses because I can just pull off. This is a Michi purse. And I did a video. You just pull off the cover. It comes off. And you just snap a new one on. So pretty pretty excited you guys so like I said thumbs up leave questions if you have any questions about it um, contact me and just leave a message and I will answer you but I am thrilled so thanks for watching bye